such a pleasure to talk to you because you created something that everybody knows about, dailycandy.com. Tell me how you came up with that idea. Well, it was about 1999 and I was working in print journalism. Um, and I had started, I'd started actually early on at New York Magazine and then had gone to working for a weekly New York to a monthly self and then to a prototype Lucky. And, I, and it struck me as I sort of started to bang around on the internet um, that, it, the, that email specifically afforded this amazing opportunity to publish immediately, which now is not necessarily the most novel idea today, but back in, back in 2000, no one was doing that, or very few people were doing that. So to me, it opened up the, the, the doors for sort of a whole new form of journalism. So, and I also felt like people were completely on information overload. I felt like they had, were trying to sort of sort through so much lifestyle media, so, so trying to figure out who is the authority on like what restaurants to go to, and clipping from the you know the dining in dining out section of the Times and Vogue and Elle and just all this different stuff. And the idea of providing this filter um, of just one little thing every day, be it a restaurant opening, a sample sale, the new it jeans. Um, really was, was, would be such a service to the reader. Um, and that's really how I came up with it.